Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video, what I want to do is I want to cover the rest of the basics about tables. So, in the very first tutorial, maybe it was the second one, I keep forgetting, but I showed you guys how you can change the table style. In other words, the basic coloring for the table, and that is, if you go up here, you can hover over each one that you like, and you can also drop down if you want some more options, but basically whenever you click one, and let me find a good one and oh, this is harder than I thought okay this one right here so whenever you click one it actually sets your table to that style now you also have another option and that is a theme and a theme is kinda of different than a style because a style is pretty much just the color of it a theme is other things like um, font size and stuff like that so if you go to the page layout tab you're gonna see this drop down right here that says themes now keep an eye on the table in the background whenever I hover over these. You can see that the actual font is changing, the font size. So that's the difference between the two. I actually kind of like this one, Ion. Alright, kind of a nice classy look. I might want to have to remember that one. So that is how you can change the overall look and feel of your table. Now if you hop back over to the table tools and designs I'll show you guys some other really nifty options and the first one is this header row checkbox so I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple things in here the header row of course is the very first row some people like it some people don't something that uh, is uh, pretty much appears on your table by default that I really don't like is this banded rows so by default it is checked and again that just means color every other row to look like bands and I think unchecking it gives it a little more professional and cleaner look so I typically am gonna have mine unchecked maybe I'll have it checked if they're easier to see on the tutorials nope I like it this way actually you know what for you guys easier to see whatever and this last one this filter button of course is the button that appears on the header now it not only is just a filter button that's just what they call it but of course as we already saw it's the button that allows you to sort your data as well so that was incredibly handy so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one on and of course you have another slew of options right here but you guys can figure out what they are those are the most common ones and um, well if you guys ever wanna change it that's where they are now another thing that I probably should have point outed, point outed, pointed out that's what I meant to say alright is this so these are your default table styles but what if you're looking through these and you're like okay I want to have a table style that matches the exact color of my website and I'm not really finding it right here well what you could do is you can hover down to this option new table style and this allows you to pretty much format a table style exactly how you want it so you can say okay so the first column stripe I'm gonna format this to whatever font border fill just like any other you know editor that you used before and what you also want to do is you want to make sure to give it a descriptive name kind of like um Bucky's room website theme or um, black and gold or something like that because I don't know it's just easier to see whenever you're looking at all your styles so if you ever want to create a custom one there you go so now that we have time to uh, kind of move on to actually working with the table I, well this is kinda how I wanted to break up the tutorial I wanted to show you guys how to style the table make everything look pretty and then um, kinda show you guys the options of everything so now I want to show you guys how to actually move it around within your spreadsheet so the first thing that a lot of people have problems with is how to select your entire table now of course we can do this now let's scroll down and find you know what that's a pain in the butt already because if it's huge of course I already already I'm having problem finding the end of that so then they go up here now this button right here this little arrow it selects your entire spreadsheet not very handy if you want to just move this table around your spreadsheet so if you ever want to select just the table this is what you can do you can go up and look at my mouse cursor right here you see how it's the fat plus sign if you move in the top left corner you're gonna see that it moves to um, a right 
down arrow. In other words, an east south or south southeast arrow. So click that, and what this is going to do is it's going to select your table right like that. Now, whenever you have it selected, you can do a couple things with it. You can either just cut it and move it to anywhere else that you want, or what you can do is you can move it to a new spreadsheet. And I'll show you guys a really cool way that you can do that. So this little arrow button, whenever you click that, it's really only good if you want to format the data in your table. But as you guys can see, we have a little problem whenever we try to paste it. Um, we're leaving all of this stuff behind, which, <laughs> which you know, that's kind of important too. So how do we select that? Well, I'll show you guys a real cool way. Click any cell within your table and hit Control A, and that's going to select exactly what was selected before. And now hit Control A again. Now, as you can see, not only did it select the data within the table, but also the headers itself. So again, that was Control A. Um, select it twice, or excuse me, hit Control A twice, and it's going to select your entire table. So now you can do something like, I don't know, just cut it, and let's say you wanted to do something like move it to a new spreadsheet. Boom, look at that. Now, the one other thing that I want to point out is this. Let me just undo that and deselect it. What if, actually, let me scroll out. It'll probably be a little bit easier. All right, too much. All right, there we go. So I want to show you guys a real quick way to move around your table, or not move around your table, just move your table without having to copy it or cut it. What you can do is you can actually take your mouse, and you can move it until it gets to the border, any border actually, it doesn't matter if it's the left one or the top one, and look what happens. I go from the fat plus sign, I almost want to call it the, uh, the red cross. It's like, it kind of looks like the Red Cross logo, but it's a white. So I'll call this the White Cross from now on. That's my, uh, that's my own version of the symbol. There actually probably is a name for it. If anyone knows, leave a comment below. But check this out. It goes from the White Cross to the four directional arrows. Now what this means is move around. So whenever I get those four directional arrows, I can just go ahead, click, and drag, and check it out. So again, white cross, move it to a border to get those four directional arrows, and move it around. Pretty stinking sweet. So those are a bunch of different ways that you can select the data within your table, select the entire table, or move the table by dragging and dropping really easily. So thank you guys for watching. Um, well, I'll see you guys next time.